Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this very exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at my two immediate gut reaction favorite features of DaVinci Resolve 12.5. Now today I was on a shoot and I got an email and it said, hey, DaVinci Resolve 12.5 beta is out, here's a couple of features and these are the two that I was like, wow, I love these so much, I am very excited. So we're going to show those and then I'll go and do some more research and figure out other things. So first of all, we've got this clip of the lovely and talented Annie Bainey here and we're not even going to bother to correct it, I'm just going to quick throw some nodes in. So if you've seen any of my tutorials, you know that I like to use lots of nodes and before you used to have to move them around one at a time, well, no longer. You can finally highlight and drag them around. This, oh my goodness, I am so happy. All right, so that one's pretty simple. This next one is going to change the way you grade in a much more visual way, and that is Resolve Effects. Now these, I, I dreamed of them, but I never thought that they would come in here. We get all these excellent, really useful effects. Well, some of them are really useful that we can use to make our grades go from just sort of curve corrections to like really like making something happen. So I will show you one thing that I've been wanting forever and that is light rays. So we'll get a quick grade going on here just by being lazy and throwing a LUT on, you know, shameless self endorsement or whatever. House LUTs just make everything fantastic all the time, immediately, awesome. All right, so now we will go and add a serial node and a layer node. And in this bottom layer, I'm going to hit Shift H, throw light rays on, and now we get these settings. That's already looking pretty okay. And now we'll just kind of go through quick these from an angle. Uh, X position was pretty much good, Y position there. You see we're getting these amazing light ray diddly boops. Uh, we'll do less softness because I want them nice and hard. Lol, length right about there. Scroll through these, that looks nice, that looks bad. So do that. Brightness, we'll do more. Global blend, keep it there because we'll do it in the layer node. See what this does. That's pretty cool, but we'll keep bright regions. So we get that going. And now we can just composite this over top by adjusting our contrast here. We'll go to curves actually, go to this figure out how we want this to add together. Then we'll quick screen this over top. And wow, I just realized they added way more blend modes. This is exciting. So hold the phone. This is the three best features. I didn't even read about this. So screen right there, Alt S. And now look at that. We get these amazing, fantastical light rays, which make our grade like, you couldn't do this before. You could kind of get there, like I've shown some like glowy highlight stuff in the tutorials, but now you get light rays and you get more blending modes and you can move your nodes around and I'm so excited and I'm going to, right after I post this or whatever, read more stuff and probably record some more tutorials. So if you like this tutorial, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, leave me your favorite new features down in the comments below so I can check them out because this is very exciting to me. Maybe to you, hopefully to you if you're watching this tutorial. If you're watching this tutorial, I'm assuming you're excited about this. If you want to be really cool, go to mistermedia.com slash products. Check out House Luts featured here. The Bright Lights Light Leak Pack, which is great. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And share this video with your friends because this is important news. New features. Once again, I've been Theo with Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.